Hi, today what I'm talking about is an ABC analysis form. This is a short training video on how to conduct an ABC analysis as well as the purpose of it. ABC analysis stands for antecedent behavior and consequence. Antecedent is essentially your setting, um, but it also can be what activity the student's engaged in right before the problem behavior occurs. The consequence isn't necessarily a negative consequence, it is just whatever happens um, to the student or um, in the classroom as a result of the problem behavior. I like this particular form because it allows for multiple dates, um, various times throughout the day, um, and uh, so one form could cover one to two days. Um, in some cases it takes two forms to cover one day, it just depends on what behaviors you're choosing to measure. Um, I don't always recommend that people look at what the possible function is. Um, I think that that's something that the team can um, brainstorm after the behavior or after the information is gathered. Here's another example of a Blake ABC analysis form. So an example would be the time. Now on the time you can choose to do this one of two ways. Let's say what you're looking at is an incident of aggressive behavior like a student hits another student. In that case you may just have a simple date, you know just a, a one time and maybe the antecedent was it was a recess uh, students were playing um, tag for example the behavior is um, XYZ hit um, a peer in the arm the consequence could have been peers quit playing with the student or uh, and student had to stand at the wall for the rem remainder. That would be an example of maybe more of an elementary student. The other thing that you could be looking at on the time is the duration. So let's say we're going from 10.30 and the behavior lasted until um, 11 o'clock. The antecedent could be something like independent work. So let's say it's independent work time on a math assignment. The behavior could be refuses to work, sits passively, does um, you know not complete assignment okay and then the consequence could be things like for teacher prompts to start working um, uh, detention assigned or it could be failed assignment however you would um, like you know whatever happens as a direct result of the refusal so that's just um, gives us two different kinds of information if we're looking at the incidence of negative behaviors then it's simple time if we're looking at duration for example we might be looking at the amount of time a student doesn't engage in the academic environment um, this would give us eventually you know the number of hours or the percentage of the day both of those things give us different kinds of information but both of them are useful um, here on the behavior we may be looking at um, what is the intensity um, where in this one we're probably more concerned about the duration um, the consequences can be multiple things it may be if you look at this you could say well they got some um, adult attention if you look at this one they got negative peer attention as well as a negative consequence so those are just really quick examples of really what we're looking at for the ABC analysis um, it's nice if we can have some good spaces because literally it kind of helps to cut these apart we can arrange them by where the setting was um, what the antecedents were what the behaviors were and then we can look at when the behavior is most likely to occur what the students getting right now do we need to replace that with something else and what changes do we need to make in the um, in the setting this is an this is again the example that I appreciate 
a little bit more, um, and I'll provide links to this form or email you this form. The other thing is I really liked this website. Um, I'll provide a link to this website. Um, and what this is, is it is actually a two minute video where you're asked to sit with an ABC form and observe this student sort of to practice um, gathering that kind of information. It's up to the team how frequently and how often you keep this data. Ideally, we try to capture every single behavior, negative behavior over the course of either a class period, over the course of a day, or even sometimes over the course of a week. Um, that allows us to average all of that and really make some good decisions about what the baseline is what the function of the behavior is, and also to more clearly define what the problem behaviors are. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below or shoot me an email. Thanks.